Oh boy! Empty tin has exactly what you would expect. Okay, we're on the MT-10 SP. SP has all the fun stuff. There's Bo! So these naked bikes, I, uh, <laughs> I get a lot of wind that I'm not used to. I've always had like fairing bikes. <laughs> Yanto in front of me on the R7. Empty tin has exactly what you would expect. Good power on tap. This is a very comfortable bike. I'm not used to riding naked. <laughs> Getting all this wind on me is, it's not bad. It's just like not what I'm used to. So I kind of have to settle into that. And it feels like these bikes are smaller just because you don't have all the fairing all up in front of me. It just feels like I'm just very open and out there, which is what these bikes are for, which is great. It's a good experience too, different. What I can compare this to that I have ridden is the Z900 from Kawasaki. The Z900 I think looks better, but ergonomically for me was not as good as this one. For reference, I am six foot two, so I like the taller, bigger bikes. They just feel more comfortable to me. Yanto and I were having conversations about that. Like he kind of likes the smaller bikes. I like the bigger bikes and everything about a bike is just what fits you, what works for your body type and how you want to ride. And demo rides are great to just get that initial feel. They can help you like probably rule out bikes better than determine what is a better candidate. If you're thinking of a bike, definitely do a demo ride. And then once you kind of narrow down what may or may not be, try to get a bigger test ride in. I like this bike. I could see how this is a good appeal. I am leaned forward a little bit on this. So it does have a little bit of a sporty position. But at speed, you know, you're kind of getting, the wind's pushing you back a little bit. So it's not an uncomfortable leaning forward. There's not a lot of pressure on my hands. Just a, just a little bit of an aggressive nature to it. If you don't mind the wind on your chest, then this could be your do-it-all bike. The mirrors are not great. I'm, I'm looking at my elbows. <laughs> so I can't see anybody like directly behind me. This is, you'd have to chicken wing it to see behind you. Yeah, so far for the bikes that I've ridden, of all the naked bikes, this is the best one. And I mean, it should be for the price tag of it. <laughs> but there's a ton of rider aids on this. I'm sure you've, you've looked them up and you could tune that in to be really safe. You've even got lower power modes so that if you are not as experienced of a rider, you can set it to a lower power setting. That way you, the bike won't get you in trouble. Oh, we're going. So they've done a lot of stuff with this bike. Um, I will go recommend, check out Chase on Two Wheels video on this. He's had some other demo rides, press, uh, did the press launch on it. 
I think at the time of this recording they may still have it in the shop and be doing a long-term review on it so that'll be some uh, other good information to check out but this is a nice bike from my perspective so what what's up my alley is the upright sport touring bikes uh, I own a Versus 1000 before that I had a Versus 650 Last year I test rode the Tracer 9, very good bike. It was at the top of my list for a while until I rode the Versus 1000. Today I rode the Tiger 900 GT Pro and the Tiger 1200 Rally Explorer. Both of those bikes are awesome. So all that to say the Sport Touring Upright Fair Bikes is, is my jam. That being said, for a naked bike, I really like this one. Man, it's even hard to get to sixth gear on this thing. There's just so much power. You can go so fast, so smooth without getting much past fourth. The downside to these bikes uh, like this is your fuel economy is not going to be great. One of the biggest complaints of the MT-10 uh, prior to the 23 models was the fuel economy was like 30 miles per gallon. They've gotten it to 34 miles per gallon so they've squeezed a little bit of efficiency out of it and I know most people are like well it's more about smiles per gallon how much fun are you having on the bike nobody cares about miles per gallon well some people do so if you're one that cares about it just keep that in mind that they've made an incremental uh, you know a 10 12 percent increase in miles per gallon if you don't care about that stuff then it's still a fun bike so I think we got the rest of the group behind us. I can't tell because the mirrors suck. This is a good bike. I like this one. This is, this is going to be up there on the list. Man, this throttle is like ready to go. Looks like you can set a speed limiter on there too. <laughs> Somebody hit the horn. <laughs> so I feel like my feet are up higher too as far as the ergonomics go, but it's not an uncomfortable up high. It might be over time, but not too bad for this. But I feel like I fit around the tank really good. You can you know, squeeze your legs in, your knees in on the tank. That's comfortable. Seat's pretty good. There's no hot spots that I can feel on the seat. It's not super plush, but it's just... It's just good and, and fits well. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, MT-10 SP from Yamaha. Great bike. Again, the looks of it can be divisive. Man, this thing, like this throttle is ready to go. It's in A mode. <laughs> As we're finishing the ride, I'm feeling a little pressure on my wrists. Maybe I'm leaning on the handlebars too much. But this is a good fun bike. I like it. It's better than the T7. <laughs> but not if you're going like off-road. Back into the demo lot. Thanks for joining me on this ride. I was reminded as to why I don't ride those anymore. That's the same. Wait, wait, so you just like feel like your butt was up in the air? <laughs> sure. 